in my house today mostly because it's really cold outside but also I needed to get some stuff done on my home network and today I'm going to be adding a couple of hardwired connections to the house for my home internet. I'm Chris and this is Workshop and Home. So I have this computer down in the basement that I would like to be hardwired and also I have a television upstairs that I'd like to be hardwired into my home network and so over the last couple of days I've been running this network cable down in the basement and I would have shown that on video but it's just a lot of time consuming work <laughs> If you want a test of your patience, go ahead and run some wires in a house that's already built. Anyway, I ran a couple of network cables. This is specifically Cat5E. And it runs from this room through this soffit. all the way across here and then into this closet and then runs along here all the way this room and then we'll be going over to here now here's kind of my network setup and I have here I've got a router uh, this is my network attached storage and of course the cable modem and then I have that going to a switch and then here's my patch panel where everything's going I already have six lines run to other parts of the house so that's already set up and then I have a PoE injector and I got a little Raspberry Pi and this is a for my home automation so it turns lights on and off and this is an extra router I have that it's not currently in use so the first spot I want to get a cable of course is going to be the hardest and I'm not even sure what this looks like in here but it looks like we ran a coax cable at some point down here and just kind of screwed it in. So I'm expecting just to see a hole with the coax coming through it. And I would be right. So the first issue we're going to encounter is this hole is just drilled through this desk so there's no real room for these connectors to sit. I have a coax and a Cat 5 connector. So I'm going to have to unhook that coax and try to drill out an area. I 
have this fish tape here that I'm going to try to get through there and pull the wires through. That feels like it went through super easy, which is a miracle. So we've got the cable pulled and now I'm going to terminate this end with this little insert. There. On to the next one. Well, after that mistake and that mistake, I finally got that one, and that one's great. So I gotta go back and patch these holes. So many, many, many hours later, and I've got all my drops done. But I still need to hook up this last little bit to make it all work. So let me bring you on in here and uh, let's hook it up. So now I need to test that this works, and I have this tool to do that. So this tool comes with two parts, and this allows you to test uh, coax and also ethernet cables. And this part pulls out and goes to wherever you want to test. So I'll go plug that in. So I've got the other end plugged into one of the drops I did and 
I don't know which one it is, so we'll just test both here. And that does not appear to be it, so it's going to be this one. And there we go. All the pairs are correct to each other. There's no shorts or miswires. This is a pretty handy tool to have if you do any kind of uh, Ethernet or even coax. Um, pretty handy tool. I'd be grateful if you hit that like button. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that little subscribe button down below. And we'll see you next time.